Hi, this is Andre, and thanks for checking out Simplicity. Simplicity is integrating the wisdoms of history, based on fact and truth, into present culture. The roots being synthesis, history, and sophie, as in philosophy. Sophie, Greek root meaning wisdom, knowledge. Today we're going to be talking about uh, chapter 13, science. Science is the study of the real world based on fact and truth. This approach to understanding the world was initially developed in the 1600s and is often called the scientific revolution or the age of enlightenment or the age of reason, which Yuval Noah Harari describes in his book, Sapiens, A Brief History of Humankind, says, humankind admits its ignorance and begins to acquire unprecedented power. The scientific method is a procedure made up of systematic observation, measurement, and experiment in the formulation, testing, and modification of hypotheses. A hypothesis is an idea that explains something. The following are the steps in the scientific method. The first, ask a question. Second, do background research on that question. Third, get an idea, form a hypothesis. Four, run the experiment to test the hypothesis. Five, analyze the results. Six, draw conclusions. And seven, share results with the scientific community. Now, the scientific method of thinking or scientific Inquiry that came about in the 17th century was started by many, but most known by Francis Bacon of England. His basic premise was that one should formulate a theory from which logical predictions could be made, which he presented in his book, New Instrument, published in 1620. Quote, there can only be two ways of searching into and discovering truth. One flies from the senses and particulars to the most general axioms, and from these axioms proceeds to judgment and to discovery of the lower axioms. The other derives axioms from the senses and particulars rising by a gradual and unbroken ascent so that it arrives at the most general or higher axioms last of all. This is the true way, but it as yet untried. The first of Bacon, Bacon's statements refers to deductive reasoning. You start with a hypothesis, apply it in a specific controlled and limited environment, run the experiment, and then draw conclusions. Deduction is the top-down approach from general to specific or big picture to little picture. The second part of Bacon's statement the other derives axioms from the senses and particulars, rising by a gradual and unbroken ascent, so that it arrives at the most general axioms last of all, it refers to the science of inductive reasoning. Inductive reasoning starts with many small pieces of information from which, when analyzed, a broad conclusion can be drawn. This is the bottom-up approach, specific to general or little picture to big picture. For instance, when in 1543, Copernicus published his theory that the sun was in the middle of our solar system and not the earth, he had done many mathematical calculations to infer that this was the case. In 1905 and in 1915, with all his mathematical calculations, Albert Einstein did the same when he published his theories of special and general relativity. Each of these men drew general conclusions and theories, the big picture, inferred from their specific mathematical calculations, the little picture, that have not been disproven to this day. 
These inferences and conclusions are in the physical sciences. Such inferences and conclusions have also occurred in the biological sciences. Over the course of 28 years, Charles Darwin painstakingly documented plant and animal life around the world, and particularly in the Galapagos Islands. And from this data, the small pictures, in 1859, Darwin published his theory of evolution, the big picture, in his book on the origin of species. This theory has been supported throughout time, and particularly through the discovery of the DNA double helix by Watson and Crick. In April 1953, they published the news of their discovery, a molecular structure of DNA based on all its known features, the double helix. Their model served to explain how DNA replicates and how hereditary information is coded on it. This set the stage for rapid advances in molecular biology and biochemistry that continue to this day. The main premise here is science, which is an understanding of nature and the real world based on fact and truth, and the scientific revolution its impact on society and the world since the 1600s. And as Harari said, humankind begins to acquire unprecedented power. And its influence, science, along with other factors, on the future of humanity.